Uh, hello, Jeff Foster, Web Biz Ideas. Uh, this video is how to get your picture to appear in the search engines when you're published on other people's websites. For example, right, we were published on Pro Blogger. We had wrote an editorial for them, but how does my picture appear on their website? Right? We've written tutorials on how to get your picture to appear in Google, but a lot of it also deals with if if it's being published on your website, right? You know, that's our website, we control it, there's code, it's easy. But at the same time, how do you get your picture to appear on someone else's website? Let's say, for example, when the site's just not a hundred percent coded correctly. It's a great website, it's very popular, but for example, they just haven't created you know author bio pages yet. Uh, like this that links to your Google Plus account that you know says rel equals me and every article you write links to this page using rel you know equals author uh, and if that didn't make sense you can read this tutorial here and that will make sense but in 2013 you need to build links on other people's websites you need to get other people talking about you not just guest posts but editorials on high quality websites and these videos here explain this but you also want Google to know that you wrote them right uh, you want to get credit. You want to know that Google, hey, I've been published on ProBlogger. ProBlogger is a huge website. It's a great website. It's a great resource. But I want Google to know that I've been published here. And so I want them to not only have my you know, pretty picture, we'll say, appearing in search engines, but I want them to know more by Jeff Foster, right, on ProBlogger. I want, I want them to register that that's me on ProBlogger, and this is my company kind of associated. So how do you do that if their site's not you know 100% coded correctly and so I just wanted to briefly go over that so in this tutorial that I wrote for pro blogger you know it explains actually what you need to do so but I just wanted to create a video tutorial on, on seeing it live because uh, I have a, a pretty good example here so right the big thing was right I, I the coded correctly here so on this page uh, it's going to you know my Google Plus account I link to it um, using rel equals author and these days too you could always link to it just using rel equals me as well but one I link to my Google Plus account it's coded correctly that's half the battle right and next you need to link back to it you need to inform Google that's you and so I have pro blogger here and it links back to that specific article so this is a way that even if the website's not coded 100 percent correctly and you get something published on CNN you can actually code it you know correctly and you can link it back and forth and now when someone does that search in, in Google uh, you know for you know what the title was right you know a head headshot uh, appearing you know in Google right you, you can come up and and so that's the key right you you link from this website to your Google Plus account and your Google Plus account using and back to here read this tutorial about just some of the coding to make sure it happens and that's how you do it and so this is how you can do it on any really web website now what's interesting is we just also had a, a second edition appear on pro blogger on uh, you know guest posting and, and some penalized uh, predictions we'll say but notice this um, well it was interesting if you search this right now it still comes up number one but the picture isn't appearing in Google right now uh, and that's interesting right and really we've only linked to that other article that we wrote we haven't linked to the new article so it's interesting that uh, Google is saying well you might need a link to that specific article so I'm gonna do a follow-up video what I'm gonna do is not link to this article because we already know that linking just a specific articles work but I'm gonna link also to just pro blogger dot uh, net right just just their website and see if Google uh, will take now into account everything that I've written on that site you know that usually works for single author websites right that's what this tutorial was for when you have a single author website you can just link you know your from the home page but again you don't have control over that on other people's websites so we'll do a test we'll go into Google and we'll we'll, we'll do edit and we'll edit the contributor uh, pages here and we'll add another custom link. We'll put the URL just the home page and we'll put pro blogger. You know, let's just do it separate just so it's a little different and we'll save it and we'll check back in, you know, maybe a couple weeks and see uh, if just linking to the home page now will allow me to do that since again uh, we've linked everything, you know, correctly within here using the, the rel equals author again. 
So we'll, we'll, we'll check back. But anyway, you know, if you want to get your picture to appear in the search engines on another person's website, you can simply basically link exchange right between the article and your Google Plus account using some correct coding, and it still can come up, and you can still get credit.